Hello and welcome to episode 32 of this Let's Play series. We are playing Banish. And we are getting very, very, very close to the point where our town is sustaining and slightly above a thousand population mark. That would be the goal of the, the series. At least a, uh, an additional goal of the series. So first of all was to get all the trade trade woods, trade goods, and we did that a while back. Oh, get her died a weak heart. now stretch pretty much from north to south of the map east to west these corners and this lake is the only untapped resource or actually the whole area around this lake is the untapped resource now number is fairly constant we have 815 816 adults for the past few years now Roughly a hundred and something children. We're still running at five times speed. Objective would be to get these um, numbers to go back up to where they were before, which is um, our limit is 500. So we want it to be up in the 500. Limits for stone is probably around 500 as well, so we do want that. Herbs is around 1000, so we are nowhere near that, but at least it's no longer a single digit. Um, we need to get our people's health up. We need to get our firewood going back up to uh, the 5,000 mark and logs up to the few thousand mark. So hopefully with the new uh, gathering centers over in this area, uh, we have three right here. Actually we have four right around this belt right here. And if need be we'll open up another one down here. I hope you can see my cursor. I think you can, uh, but uh, sometimes I mess something up with the recording recording uh, settings and uh, lose the cursors. And then I'm over here moving my cursors, thinking that people can see it, and, uh, and you can't. So if that is the case, please let me know. I will also look at the um, the video after I record them and uh, make sure that is the case that I can actually see the cursor. So we haven't done anything over here in a while, and I don't think there's much that we need to do around here. Houses here so that we can open up some this fishing area. Let's make a decent amount of fish. 
push. These guys less so. That will require a ton of stone. Which we don't really have right now. down this way, oh, we have wheat, potato, cabbage, wheat, pepper, pumpkin, corn, bean, Hopefully these will get um, completed soon, so that we can plan them uh, next next spring, which is coming up soon. And our number of adults has dropped to 809, which is um, six less than the beginning of the episode, so let's see if it comes back up. Because if it does not, then we, uh, then our growth rate, uh, probably less than ideal, but it is coming back up slightly to 810. speed of the game is actually slowed down a little bit because of how much we've built. Uh, my computer is pretty old. Actually it's very old. I forgot how long ago I, I got it but it's quite old. Uh, not quite 10, 10 years. But uh, close enough. So, uh, compared to the newer computers, it's uh, very underpowered. Runs all the, the stuff just fine, but uh, might be a little slow sometimes. And we just need this little rock over here to be um, broken up and move away. And then we can start planting uh, some squash down this way. Unfortunately, because these houses have not been built, these uh, farmers has a long way to, to go to go to work. As soon as some of these houses are built, then uh, 
tanks can start shifting this way. And by, uh, by tanks, I mean builders and farmers and, and people who work in this local area. So right now, there's nothing to do but sit back and relax and watch some of these numbers going hopefully up and not down. Our food supply is fairly stable. Our herbs are going up slightly. Our coats are not. So this year, uh, the yield of these will be pretty low, just because they don't have enough people um, nearby to work the fields. I believe they might surprise us. Oh, look at that! I'm gonna build this right here. of stone is dreadfully low. Okay, so this is not good. The peak after harvesting last season is nowhere near the peak that we had previously. So we could look at a another dip down here. Maybe. building a new blacksmith somewhere. Oh, it was up uh, near the mines. Everything is taking a long time to finish now. Uh, new traders coming up the, the, the river. This area is still being built. This is also being built. At least it's finally cleared out, a bit cleared out, and now it's going to be built. Let's go ahead and gather some of the stone around here. Not that there's much left. Four more 
more fishermen. Which means that the fisher fishing dock down here is completed. This one. Is down here. here, one right there, so I think we're okay for now. Right, we have our trader. Eels and musket and wool. Let's just uh, not worry about this for now. down these bridges and at this point I believe we um, have established our town uh, we don't have the capacity to take in more people so we will have to uh, turn these guys away they should go to uh, another valley somewhere and uh, start their own town This would that would be a very interesting challenge to start a town with let's say a hundred something people. I'm not even sure if we can do that. Because that there'll be so much construction. Our population appear to be stable. So I feel pretty good about that. Our food supplies, however, is uh, less than ideal. The trough for that is slightly lower than previous two years. So I think there is a definite downward uh, trend here. I believe these previous two years we actually managed to buy some food from the um, from the merchants so that that help out but uh, this year we did not at all so the um, the peak is lower and therefore the trough is also lower therefore hopefully these uh, area will the uh, help out in that regard. Oh, we have another who died during childbirth. That's very sad. Let's just 
go to look to see if these guys are a little bit more local now. Some of them are. Oh, we finally have the other black, blacksmith, so let's go and look at it. Make sure that we are making steel tool. Definitely need more, um, another tailor. Let's go to the area where we actually have a lot of wool and leather, which is around here. Leather. These are all empty. Used to be full of wool. It is possible that the wool have all been transported over here and they were still low in wool. That is a distinct possibility. One way to find out is actually just look at our inventory. And we have 657 leather versus 36 wool. means we should start uh, stocking up on wool. circulation and hopefully the tailors can use that to uh, make more coats Still low on uh, stone. Let's go ahead and unpause this very last fishing dock over here. right here is fine. Let's do it. Let's just do that. Even though we don't actually have stone to spare. Let's just build some stone road over here. Firewood has reached back. Has reached um, the limit, pretty much. I will go ahead and increase the limit, just because it feels like we are uh, burning to the rather quickly. 
Oh, the limit's actually at 7,000, so we're not even near that yet. If that's the case, then we'll leave it alone. And we'll wait for Saudi's gathering area to come, uh, come online. We do not need them in our, any more seats. The one thing we need right now is stone, so we can build more tanks. I feel like we should build some more orchards as well because um, that would give us additional types of, um, of fruit which will help. Four, just like before. Unless we want to make them larger this time. I don't actually know. I do need to, to look that up and see if um, that is a decent size of orchards. Give me one second, I will be right back. Okay, so I was looking up at the, um, the calculator, and it seems um, that the 15 by 4 orchard side is still the best for the, the, the most productive type of orchard because the um, the thing with orchard is that they are. Let's just build a road across here first before we build anything. The thing about orchard is that they are. Um, they skip a row. So the trees do not. Remove this road actually altogether. Because the tree um, are not. Plan uh, one next to another. So that is the road that can be built across. It 
so hard to see these these things without highlighting them. some houses around here as well. So that's one, two, three. See how far this way we're going to build the orchard. Pretty far up. Fifteen by four. I don't think we can fit two houses back to back here. really hard to see so let's just wait for these to be built and then when that's built we'll uh, build more around it let's build the two houses here actually gone up to over 70,000 which is higher than it had been in a while that's nice coat's gone up to 20 something Still building some more fishing docks and houses. And the cemetery.
So we need to keep an eye on both of these numbers. So if this goes up and this stay around constants, then we are okay. This is of course still low. And this is not quite match. Oof, we have a whole bunch of coal people. Because they're working on uh, over here. Gathering stone and things. Hopefully they'll be able to um, get to some place warm soon, like this house. Frost over here because the people are too far from from the uh, from the farm. So next year, that hopefully that'll be better. Our number of adults is. Hovering just over 800, so hopefully that will go up again to 810, 820. Otherwise, we do need more houses. And we are building more houses. problem is um, that feedback loop is going to take a little while to the to show because um, the house that we build now will take a few years for people to move in have kids those kids to grow up uh, become students and graduate and become productive adult so that's probably like a 15 20 years cycle. I forgot how old the, the, um, um, the student has to be before he or she graduates from school and becomes adult. I know that um, 10, I think, is the transition from being a, a child to being a student. So let's assume that uh, another 6 or 10 years. But, so it takes 20 years for, for those numbers to. Um, to start working themselves out. And it's possible that with these influx of uh, nomads, uh, a group of them may die all at once. Let's say you know, 20, 30 people may die all age all at the same time. And if we don't have enough uh, laborers to replace them, then we are in trouble. Still, so much construction going on. I still really can't see much over here. So, I believe we have a road down this way. We built an orchard. So, that is the orchard. That's the road. That's the next orchard. Four. 
But we've gone over time, so we'll call it an episode here. And uh, again, hopefully, we'll get uh, to this uh, equilibrium point pretty soon. Uh, we need four more gatherers because I think one of our gathering center has finally finished opening up. And we'll need more forestry and uh, herbalists soon. So food actually peak higher than before, which is great. It's thanks to the uh, new fishing docks and the farms, so that is great. So hopefully the trust will also be higher than before. We look at our production, we actually produce more food than we use. No, we do not. Last year we produce about 10,000 less. And this year we produce about 10,000 more. So I think this year we'll be producing just slightly above what we need, which is excellent. So we're really on our way to uh, be sustainable food wise. Herbs and clothing wise, I don't know. It's really close. This may be going up, it may not. This is definitely not going up. Let's go and trade and then we'll call an episode. Do not need seed. Dismiss him or her. And uh, we'll call it here. Again, almost, almost, almost um, self-sustaining. Very, very close. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.